Hello, this is Dr. Michael Rothman, and in this video, I want to talk to you about the use of medical marijuana, specifically if you suffer from inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. So if you suffer from inflammatory bowel disease, there's often nausea, vomiting, intestinal spasms, diarrhea, uh, cramps. Oftentimes people that have these diseases suffer from anxiety, problems sleeping. Uh, they may have other issues as well. Now medical marijuana is approved by New Jersey to treat the symptoms of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and it can really help many of these symptoms so rather than taking a medicine for nausea and a medicine to treat your muscle spasms and a medicine to treat your uh, intestinal pain, a medicine for anxiety, a medicine for sleep, you can take one medicine in the form of medical cannabis, also known as medical marijuana, and by doing so, it's much more efficient. But the other thing is that, that medical marijuana has very few side effects. One of the major side effects of medical marijuana is that it causes a euphoria uh, and, and it, gives, it has psychotropic effects. Now, some people find this very uncomfortable. Now, the good news is that there are many strains of cannabis, medical marijuana, available that are low in THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, and high in something called CBD, cannabidiol, the, the high CBD strains have no psychotropic effects, but they do have lots of the positive effects on the symptoms that I just mentioned. However, the use of medical marijuana, if you do have inflammatory bowel disease, may go above and beyond just treating your symptoms. There is evidence, growing evidence, in the scientific and medical literature that cannabis actually has anti-inflammatory properties and may in fact even help heal your bowel and actually reduce your disease. This is very, very exciting information and the research keeps coming more and more showing many of these same positive effects. So if you do suffer from inflammatory bowel disease, I would urge you to consider using medical cannabis, of course, through your doctor and, and, and doing this all legally through the New Jersey Medical Marijuana Program. Uh, there are other things that I do for patients that do have inflammatory bowel disease. In addition to medical marijuana, the diet's very important. Hormonal balancing is important. Uh, looking for immune system allergens is very, very important. There's, there's so many things that can be done that can help your disease. And medical marijuana should be at the, towards the top of the list of, of interventions that can be very, very useful. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you, and I hope you have a great day.